You're looking at the LG V30. I know what you might be thinking. Doesn't this phone look just like the Samsung Galaxy S8? I have here on me the bigger S8 Plus model with a 6.3 inch screen. So as you can see, the LG V30 is a little bit smaller with a 6 inch display. The similarities up front is just undeniable. The bezels are about the same size, even the same curvature. Unlike the LG G6, which was a little bit boxy and thick, the LG V30 is surprisingly slim and thin. It only weighs 158 grams, so it's actually lighter than the LG G6 despite having a bigger screen. So looking at the back of the phone, you'll see that standard LG setup here, fingerprint reader that also has a clicky power button, and dual cameras. There's a 16 megapixel f 1.6 aperture lens. F 1.6 aperture is the lowest in smartphones yet. So that means it will, this camera will be able to take really good low light photos. The 13 megapixel shooter is the usual wide angle lens that LG is known for, but they've also bumped up the megapixel to 13, 13 megapixels and an F 1.9 aperture. So that's quite good. So the V-series has always placed great emphasis on creating content in terms of video and photo. And this year, the V30 is no different. In the camera mode, if you tap modes, you'll see that there are a lot of shooting options, including manual video control. To this day, the V-series is still the only smartphone line to offer manual recording and videos. Now, that's not that useful to most consumers but i find it quite useful and people who like to create vid uh, people who are into videography will find it interesting the wide angle lens is also back which gives you a wider field of vision that means you can take in more without having a backup it comes in very handy when you're seeing sights and perhaps my favorite mode is point zoom so this allows you to zoom into any portion, uh, part of the frame, even if it's off center. So let's put it to the test. I'm gonna zoom in on this book in the corner. I can control the speed too, so I can go really slowly or go really fast. So this is um, a pretty cool trick that Almost and all other smartphones can't do. On a standard smartphone like the Samsung Galaxy S8, you can only zoom in the middle of the frame. Even if I try to focus on the book, it doesn't matter. If I zoom, it will just go to the middle of the couch. So the only way for me to zoom in on the book is if I center the phone, phone basically tilt the phone and center the book in the middle of the frame. Then from there, I can zoom in on the book. So the LG V30 can do a lot of cool tricks with video that other smartphones cannot handle. So the LG V30 is shaping up to be a powerhouse phone. It's got a 6 inch AMOLED display that's beautiful to look at. It's rated IP68 so that means it's water and dust resistant. You can use the phone underwater for up to 30 minutes. And you know don't let the phones um, sleek look fool you. It's actually quite tough. According to LG, 